everyone welcome back so today i am outside albertson's i'm doing some grocery shopping it's like the end of the month and i have very little in my grocery budget but they have some good deals at albertson's this week that i cannot pass up and i'm also going to go to food for less which is a kroger brand store and buy a couple of things i only have one boy today i have adam um, michael actually went to preschool with my parents because it's grandparents day so that's really cute so i'm kind of in a rush because they're only going to be gone like an hour and a half and so they're gonna be back home soon so I need to get all this done go inside the store and get our stuff come on come on so back home now and this is everything I picked up so from the first store this is where I was gonna get the major savings and I totally did I'm so happy I went here so I got almost 10 pounds of chicken breast boneless skinless chicken breast it's almost 10 pounds this one is 4.99 and 4.86 so almost 10 pounds of chicken breast this will get divided and frozen i also picked up two bags of avocados there's five avocados in each and i made sure to pick up the ones that the avocados were not like super ready like they were still kind of hard guys each bag a dollar 95 like how can you pass that up like you just can't and then the creamers were on sale as well I, we have never had this international delight brand but i'm sure it's delicious so we picked i picked up four of the french vanilla and then i picked up one of the reese's we love reese's so these must be good and then a caramel macchiato one so yeah and with all of this i spent twenty dollars and sixty four cents I think that's an amazing deal. So, <clears throat> moving on to this store. This is Food for Less, which is my local Kroger store. I picked up some bananas, some milk, some chips, because, you know, chips. And then, I don't know, do you guys remember buying these when you guys were younger? I remember buying these when I was, like, in middle school. I love these. Maybe even elementary. Um, I love these, and they brought them back recently, and they taste so good. Um... I also picked up some broccoli, a couple of tomatoes. Tomatoes in my area, I feel like the price has been going up recently or the tomatoes are just not that great. So yeah, I've been kind of bummed out about the tomatoes recently. Bought some tapatio and then I bought two bags of the Kroger brand Adorbs, which are little mandarins. So basically like a cutie. And the little mandarins were on sale for $1.95 a bag. So I bought two bags. And then I got two of these meats. You guys will have to tell me what I can make with these because I don't know, but I just knew that the sale was pretty good. Yes. Can I help you, sir? I'm almost done, okay? Almost done. Almost done. Can I give you something to entertain you? Maybe an avocado? Okay, so these are the two meats I bought. Like I said, you guys will have to tell me what I can make with these. So I bought this one. It's $8.79 originally, almost $13. And beef steak round extra thin cut is what I'm assuming that's what it's supposed to be. And then I bought this, which is the cross rib pot roast, boneless, for $8.98. It was originally $15. So these two will feed us probably like five or six times. So let me know what I can make with these because I got some good deals. Catch now. What's my menu? One is for you and one's for me. Is this not for me? Sure. So Michael got back from um, grandparents' day at his preschool. Did you have fun at preschool with Nana and Tata? Yeah. Yeah. We'll have to show you guys what he made. We have to show them the art that you made. So Adam is sleeping. He's probably going to wake up any minute now. But when Adam is sleeping, Michael and I just spend one-on-one -on -one time together. Because we don't get to spend too much alone time, just me and him. So I try to make sure to not be on my phone, not be looking at stuff or anything like that. And no, just have time. No, oh, I'm sorry. Take it. Oh, the back one wants to take it. Okay. So I try to make sure to just keep that time. Oh, this is like frozen. Yeah. <laughs> to make time just me and him. Oh, wow. This is like really frozen. It'd be like a slushy. Very The back put in Mmm, very cool. This is legit frozen. Wow, why is this frozen? Because it's frozen because of the refrigerator. It's frozen because of the refrigerator? Yeah. Yeah. It's very cold. Yeah. Oh my god, our house is 69 degrees. It's so cold in here. 
I know I complained, but I live in California and it feels freezing inside my house. I'm wearing a long sleeve sweater, uh, this shirt, leggings, fuzzy socks. I am freezing my butt off right now. The boys are both in like sweatpants and sweaters and shirts and, and yeah, everything is closed. Oh my god, I am so cold right now. Like my chicken, my chicken. I literally have like chicken skin right now. I'm freezing. Anyways, we're gonna start getting ready for some lunch. So this was a meal prep for the week. I did some pasta with um, pasta sauce along with some shredded carrots. These little garlic knot breads. I made these with the two ingredient dough. I might make a video on how I made these. Let me know if you guys want to see that. And then um, just some broccoli. And basically I did the same thing with the boys. And the boys are having basically the exact same thing. So in order to make things easier for me the next day. Since tomorrow Michael's going to be going to preschool. I tried to do his meals the day before. So for instance when we were having, when we were having breakfast this morning. I made his breakfast for tomorrow. Which is just a smoothie so I put everything inside the little blender bottle and tomorrow morning I just need to put it on the blender and we're good to go. And right now we're having lunch so I'm prepping his lunch for tomorrow. So I already made his PB&J sandwich and I'm just prepping the rest of his, of his lunch. Just so that tomorrow when I need to get everything together and out the door at a certain time. No, I want to open that school. Um, no, I'm not going to open it all the way. I'm just going to leave it like this so it's easier. Um, it's just easier and faster for me to be able to get out the door and not run late like I usually do. <laughs> So thankfully my boys are not very picky when it comes to food. They basically eat almost anything. The only thing is hi, they like to eat hi a lot. Everybody. Hi everybody. Um so for Michael, oh, I have like I said a PB and J sandwich here for him. I have a little baby bell cheese. In here, I put some pretzels along with some broccoli and carrots. And then he'll also have a mandarin, which I cut the top just to make it easier for him. He likes to peel it. If not, I would totally peel it for him, but he likes to do that, so I let him do that. And then um, I'm giving him a little homemade cookie for tomorrow. Normally, don't give him a sweet, but I figured he's going to be eating so good, so I will, pack, I will give him that. So yeah, this will be his lunch for tomorrow, and this will be completely empty when I go and pick him up because these boys are so hungry all the time. <laughs> we got some growing boys over here, guys. Anybody else have super attached babies? <laughs> this little boy is so attached to me. Anywhere I go, he follows. <laughs> hey, let's walk. Let's walk. He's starting to learn how to walk, guys. Can you believe it? Almost a year old. Oh. Can you guys believe this little boy is almost a year old? Oh my goodness. You got pasta on your face. Why oh, you got pasta? <laughs> Can I help you with something? Can I help you? I think I think he wants I think he wants something guys. <laughs> Seriously, this is an accident waiting to happen, sir. Sir, you need to get out of there because you're going to fall back and you're going to bonk your head. Come on. I don't want you to get hurt. Come on. You can play with it, but right here. I don't even know how you got on it. So this is what Michael made at school. <laughs> Isn't he so cute? And it says Nana and Tata. How cute is that? So cute. <laughs> Unless you want to put PJ pants on, but I don't have any more regular pants on because Mama hasn't done laundry. Ruh -roh. So it's getting later in the day. I'm getting ready to get some dinner ready. I'm getting ready to for dinner. And um, I'm going to make some rice. Hopefully this rice will not be crunchy rice, but that's what's popular in my house. 
crunchy Spanish rice, okay? <laughs> And then we're gonna have some chicken taquitos. I think I'm just gonna put these in the toaster oven and let them like get like nice and crispy. I actually made these back in December and I froze them. I can't even remember what's actually in here. I know it's chicken, maybe cheese. I don't know, but they're chicken taquitos. I'm gonna put them in the toaster oven, let them get nice and toasty with the side of the rice. And that's gonna be dinner for tonight. these chicken breasts are ginormous look at that oh my gosh I'm thinking that one is a meal for all of us because these are pretty big but then there's like this one that's a little bit smaller but still I don't know if I should do two or one in a bag if I do two I think two might be better because if I do two, then it's for sure leftovers. But if I just do one, it's like just that one meal. Here's the meat. So I have two beef round sir sirloin tips. I'm thinking that these are pretty huge. So I'm thinking one bag is enough for one meal for us. So I got two meals. And then the chicken breast, I did two per package. So I have one, two, three, four meals with leftovers. And then one ginormous beef cross rib roast. Boneless. So I think that would be obviously enough for one meal and probably some leftovers. I'm sure of it actually. So lots of meals here and I'm very, very excited for that. Dinner is not done. You guys would be happy to know that my rice was not crunchy today. It was a little mushy, <coughs> a little too mushy, but it wasn't crunchy. So that's pro progress. You guys have to give me, you guys that are rice experts, what am I doing wrong? I told Michael, I think I need to start reading the recipe and the instructions, like for real now, because I'm not, I'm not doing a good job at this rice. Um, anyways, it's time to clean up. We just finished dinner. Michael's cleaning up outside really quick. I put a timer in the oven for 10 minutes to just help me clean up for 10 minutes, and then it's family time. So I already cleaned up these counters right here, and now I just need to do the dishes, which I probably won't get to all of them, maybe just a couple of them. Out of the trash! No, 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 no. I'll probably just get to a couple of them, and then I'll finish the rest of tonight when um, Michael is getting Michael Jr. in the bath, and then Adam is already asleep. So let's do some dishes.
it's like the third time my timer's gone off. So now it's time to just stop what I'm doing and go do some family time. So I did all the dishes, but I do have a very dirty sink and a pretty dirty counter. Like there's marks on it and stuff like that. But I'm just gonna leave this for now and then come back to it later. And now it's family time. And this is what our family consists of. Our family time consists of Michael just pickling him. <laughs> get him, Dad, get him. Freezing, Daddy? <laughs> so they do all the tickle time while me and Adam are right here, while he's still eating. <laughs> are you eating? Come on, finish up. Michael, where'd daddy go? Michael, where's daddy? Go tell daddy mommy wants a cookie. Hurry. I want a cookie too. Okay, go tell him. Ah! <laughs> uh, mommy, I want a cookie. Oh, mommy, sorry, come here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> Are you okay now? Yeah. I'm sorry. Is the cookie good? Yeah. Good. Feel better? Yeah. Daddy, do you feel better? You're the one who did it. You're the one? <laughs> so Adam's asleep and my husband's about to take Michael in for a bath. I gotta finish up cleaning the kitchen and then do some cleaning outside of the kitchen, like the living room and the bathroom. And then I'm gonna call it it for today, but follow me along as I clean just a tad bit more for the rest of the day. for joining me today on my day I hope you guys enjoyed it if you did I hope that you'll subscribe I have my Instagram link down below if you guys want to go ahead and follow me on there um, with all that being said I hope you guys have a great rest of your day and I will see you all next time bye